This video is to show you how to manage files on Fusion 360. Now, the thing I'm most concerned with is organizing your folders in a way that you're going to be able to find your work and turn it in later, and also inviting your instructor or when you're collaborating with other students, inviting them to see your files. So the first thing that we want to do is get over here to the data panel. It looks like the Google Waffle. Click that, and this whole side opens up. Now, I'm in a folder right now. The document I was working in last is this file name, geodai, with my last uh, information here, my last name, first name. It's in the folder of CAD Quiz 1, in the project folder of Tech and Manufacturing. If I hit the home button, it takes me all the way out to where I can see all my project folders. And there's even some other resources down here, some samples and some library items. But what I'm most concerned with is all my folders, right? And as you can see, I do a lot of stuff on the CAD program. So I have quite a few project folders. If I have one that I'm working in quite a bit, I'll use this pin to put it at the top. And as you can see, it falls to the bottom. So I want to keep it near the top, pin it. Now, to create a project folder, you can click this project folder button. It's actually a lot of ways to do it, but this is one. I can click this and name a new folder. I'm going to show you my existing folder right now. So I created a folder that said tech in manufacturing or essentially a folder for this class. And by doing that, it allows um, anyone to invite one person to see all their folders and i'll show you how that works so if i open tech and manufacturing i've created subfolders here and each subfolder i use for one of the assignments in this cad class and i can create infinitely more too so for each cad assignment right for each cad assignment you should create a folder and then put all the files for that in that folder to invite someone to see your project folder, what you need to do is click on people and type in their email address. This is the email address you're going, you're going to want to use to invite me, your instructor. You can also invite anyone that has access to Fusion 360 and they'll be able to uh, see your file. Now, when you create your project folder and invite me to that, if you do it as a class folder, I'll be able to see anything you put in here. If your project folders are only per assignment, then you're going to have to invite me to each assignment that you create. And each time you have to make sure you put in my information correctly. I have had students in the past that uh, transpose a couple digits, a couple letters in my email, and it didn't work. So please be sure that you're getting the correct email address. Now that said, be very careful about when you're saving assignments and putting them in the right place. If I have this, this um, project folder and this subfolder selected, when I go to save a file, it will automatically bring that location up as the place I want to save it. But let's just say I want to save it somewhere else. I can open this and I can select from any of my other project folders and any subfolders that are, or uh, yeah, any subfolders that are inside there. Now say I have all this stuff and I need and I need to organize it, or I don't want to save it in this big mess. I can create a, a new folder, and it will create a folder inside my project folder. I can create new project folders here, but the main thing we want to focus on is creating um, folder organization based on assignments. I know I've said that three times because it is that important. You do not want to be one of the students that does really good work but doesn't organize stuff and when it comes time to turn it in they can't find their work that is the most frustrating just take a few extra minutes and make sure that you always name and place your files in the correct folders as you're creating them so let's just say this was cat quiz 2 number two i'd probably want to place it in cat quiz 2 oh, i don't actually want to put my suffix aka naming convention in there and make sure you're highlighted. Make sure it lists the right folder here. Click Save, and you're good. I can even double check it. Go to CAD Quiz 2. Oh, there's the file. Good to go there. So make sure you are organizing and inviting me to be able to see the work that you've done for the class.